friends Chris and Christine have been sailing their catamaran called the Amoya around the Mediterranean, and they graciously invited us to come join them for a week. The timing worked out that we could join them crossing the Ionian Sea from Greece to Italy. Hey, so Silka, <laughs> where are we? We're on the Amoya. We're in Greece. We're in Italy. Greece, and we're on the Amoya, um, Chris and Chris's catamaran. Um, this is kind of the patio area. Um, this is how we're getting on and off the boat right now. We're tied up to this wall. Uh, there's a little bit of a gap here. Mind the gap. Uh, I think he said, what, 850 watts of solar. Um, and then uh, we've got three sails. The main sail, there's a jib, I think, and some kind of a spinnaker. So here we are up on the bow and there's this net you can walk out onto. Oh, you look good sitting there. <laughs> welcome, welcome. So let's go inside. This is the uh, kitchen slash dining area. And then uh, the desk with radio and navigation. And this is where we live. Right now, this is a spare room. Um, we've just been storing some of our stuff in here. This is our, our bathroom. Hey. <laughs> and down here is the shower. And when you look through here, you're looking in between the holes of the boat. Should we go to our room? Yeah. But maybe I should clean up first. Clean up first? Oh, come on. Oh, looks great, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. This is it. And so we've got this, we can cover up the window um, and it makes it dark in here. Uh, and that's looking out the back of the boat. Our visit with Chris and Christine began when Silka and I flew to the island of Zakynthos, Greece, and followed their GPS point to where they were docked. We spent a couple days exploring the island while we waited for a weather window to cross the Ionian Sea to Syracuse, Italy. We finally got our weather window. We had to make our way to the other side of the island, so we did some sightseeing on the way. First stop, Blue Caves. I just don't want to blow. I don't want to blow past. Right, right. Yeah, there's a boat in there. Oh my gosh. That's brave. Oh. won't be able to turn around. before doing the crossing was Shipwreck Beach, named for a smuggling ship that ran aground in 1980. It's 
it's a really popular tourist spot. Tour boats drop a load of passengers off on the beach and then hang out. And then they blast a horn to let their passengers know that they're picking them up. Put out 40 and then we'll put the bride on. Chris and Christine dropped an anchor and we had lunch. Then we pulled up the anchor and pointed towards Sicily. We had good winds right off the bat, so Chris and Christine trimmed the sails and we were under wind power. The boat has autopilot, which has three different modes. When you set it for wind power, it steers the rudder so that the wind angle to the boat stays constant. That way you can trim your sails and just leave it there. And the autopilot will make corrections if the wind changes direction slightly. It didn't take long for Greece to disappear. And then for the next two days, all we could see was water and the horizon all around us. Silka went to bed to get a couple hours sleep because she was going to join Christine on the first watch and help her stay awake. And now, one of the most beautiful three minutes I've ever seen compressed into 18 seconds. between Greece and Italy in the Ionian Sea. Uh, you can see a cruise ship up ahead. We've been watching it on the ship ahoy. <laughs> We've been watching it on the monitor for a couple hours. Or I've been watching it on the monitor for a couple hours. Um, I've been on watch Silka just got up. Um, beautiful sunrise. Stunning. Uh, and Everything is pretty calm. Silka was on watch with Christine before midnight. Uh, and I got up she at- She sent me to bed. She sent me to bed. <laughs> I got up at three, but Chris uh, said I could go back to bed. Uh, I got up again at five, and then he's been sleeping since then. What else? I'm more concerned about that cruise ship. Oh, it's gonna be fine. Turns out that fish is a remora suction cupped on the side of a dolphin. Apparently they don't do much harm, and it seemed to be moving around on the dolphin. It was amazing how smooth the water could get at times, and the different patterns, the different looks that it could have. Hey there. It's a beautiful day. Mm -hmm left land 22 hours ago and we just passed our halfway point 150 miles ago we left Zakynthos mm -hmm. and we've got 150 miles Go. to Syracuse what have we seen so far dolphins dolphins yeah mm -hmm. and uh, yeah there was a little tiny bird that hitched a ride for a little bit a bee just flew by oh, yeah that was real cruise ship oh yeah past pretty pretty close by we had we to had actually change bit. our course a little bit a little bit of garbage like one little yeah. plastic box or much. something not much and then, uh, and then what looked like a buoy for like a crab trap or something
Wednesday evening. The wind finally came back up. The wind direction is perfect. It's heading and has us heading right to Syracuse at this angle. It's coming in just off our port bow at uh, almost seven knots. It's so quiet. Oh yeah, wind picked up a little more. It's just after 5 a.m. and I've just started watch. I made myself a cup of coffee. Christine just laid down to get some rest. Chris has been in bed for the last four hours and so is sleeping. The lights of Syracuse are visible in the distance just faintly. There's no trace of the sunrise yet behind us in the east. I'm watching occasional flashes of bioluminescence go by us. The big light you see is the light on the top of our mast. It's a beautiful starry sky right now. The Milky Way is out. And in the east, Venus, Jupiter, Neptune, and Mars are all lined up in a row and rising just before the sun comes up. So there's just like 10 or 15 minutes yesterday where you could see all four of them. Right now I can see Neptune and Mars. Venus and Jupiter haven't come up yet. There's still about an hour until sunrise. It's surprisingly warm. I don't even have to have my windbreaker on. We're now just under 29 nautical miles from Syracuse. The sky has been lightening up. The stars are almost gone. Venus and Jupiter are clearly visible above the horizon. I can't see Neptune anymore, but Mars is still a little red dot. Uh, right there, or that little boat right there is us. I got here. You can click on them. It's the red garnet. We're in more Italian on the radio now. Anyways, this is a tanker. You can see a little bit of information about it. Chris was saying that a lot of times the tankers will come and just drift if they're ahead of schedule. And that dotted line tells you something about their speed. That's how far they'll travel in a half hour. So because there's no dotted line in front of this tanker, you know, he's just sitting there. So what song were you singing? How's 
Chris's sourdough bread. <laughs> As we got closer and closer to Syracuse, you could make out in more detail, and then you could see that sea wall. Yeah, that was pretty cool. We had a lot of fun walking around and eating the food. Especially the gelato. Especially the gelato. Did I just realized? What? I was in at sea, and you're looking at land, but now we're on land, and we're looking out at the sea. Hi. You signing off? Yeah. You have to say, this is Silkamani signing no, off. No. <laughs> Then it's gonna keep going. Oh, don't make it. <laughs>